22-year-old Penelope Gorman shows us the revolutionary new artificial heart that kept her alive for more than 200 days. The device saved her life. Uh, w without the device, uh, she, she would not be with us. And that's not just me saying that. It's, I know that for a fact. Penelope was born a healthy little girl, but doctors think a virus may have attacked her heart. And at one year, as the family drove home from a visit to her great-grandparents' house, little Penny became desperately ill. She, um, she started throwing up in the car and her lips had turned blue. Penny was airlifted to Mattel Children's Hospital at UCLA. In general, the heart's really not moving at all. Tests showed her heart was twice its normal size with only 5% of function, a diagnosis of dilated cardiomyopathy. In Penny's case, I mean, dilated cardiomyopathy, and in all cases, dilated cardiomyopathy is life-threatening. Um, it needs to be, once it's properly recognized, it needs to be treated urgently. We were like, how is this possible? Like, how could she be in heart failure? Just out of the blue. Many times because the children uh, are otherwise so healthy, uh, it's, it's not noted by the parents, it's subtle symptoms until they kind of fall off a cliff and essentially are hospitalized and they're found to have almost a non-functioning heart. Medications were not enough. Penny's heart was failing. Penny was placed on a pediatric heart lung machine called an ECMO for seven days. Once they're on ECMO, I mean, the clock starts ticking and really their time is crucial. Every minute counts. Um, and if uh, without a heart being found, often these patients died um, waiting for a transplant. For adults, there are long-term heart assist devices that allow patients to wait for months, even years, for a donor heart if necessary. But up till now, no such device was available for children. Now, for the first time, doctors at UCLA could offer Penny a new device called the Berlin Heart. This is the deoxygenated blood. You see it's much darker. This is the blood that that's, has oxygen in it. A miniature child-sized external device that could take over the pumping function of her heart. And doctors could give Penny a second chance for life. It's the only thing that we have right now that functions for these small children and allows them a chance uh, to get to transplantation. Penny was implanted with a Berlin heart, and every day, along with an army of doctors, nurses, and support staff, the little pump kept her alive. We could put her in uh, a wagon and take her around, take her outside. They adapt. They adapt so well. She just became, you know, two-year-old little girl that just had an external heart. This allows the children to essentially lead a somewhat normal existence and allows all their organs to improve, such as their kidneys and their lung function, before the transplant. Eight months later, Penny got a new heart, and she was out of the hospital in less than two weeks after her transplant. Penny's doing fantastic. I mean, granted, that's going to mean medications and doctor's visits, but I think that the Berlin heart basically saved her life. Oh, that was so good. Having my daughter back. Oh, so good. The Berlin Heart is still considered an experimental device, but available at UCLA to patients like Penny on a compassionate basis because of UCLA's extensive experience and expertise as one of the leading heart transplant centers in the country. If there's another family in our situation, I, I would 100% tell them to take the device. You know, and in the end, you, you know, you get your um, child, you get your child back. Do you miss us?